Number 1. Tom Tits Experiment. This creative science center and amusement park is in a grand 19th century factory building and bursts with wacky activities and experiments for kids. There's a world of things to do inside, whether you're making soap bubbles, playing with illusions, riding in a gyroscope, experimenting with colors, solving a mirror maze, or operating an elevator with your own body weight. There's also a slide that spirals from the fourth floor to the ground. Number 2. Torkalbergitz Museum. This sensational open-air museum is a snapshot of life in Södertälje and the eastern Södermanland in the 19th century. The museum is divided between an urban, staden, and rural, landet, area and its big landmark is the Nora Windmill, Vederkvarn. This dates to the 1770s and moved to the museum in 1929. Like most Swedish open-air museums the historic architecture has been rescued elsewhere and rebuilt here, and unlike Stockholm's Skansen, it's completely free. Number 3. Marcus Wallenberg Hall. The Swedish truck manufacturer Scania AB has been based in Södertälje since the company was born following a merger in 1911. And at the brand's head office there's a museum mapping out Scania's history. This attraction is named for one of the company's early financiers, and is crammed with vehicles spanning more than 100 years. Scania is now best known for its freight trucks, but in its time has produced tanks, half-tracks, 4X4S, motorbikes, cycles and buses, all of which are exhibited at the museum and have been restored to factory condition. Number 4. Salzkog Guard. In the 1880s this farm outside Södertälje was taken over by the industrialist Carl Fredrik Liljevalch Denninger. Not just a successful businessman, Liljevalch was a philanthropist and art patron and turned the farm into a cultural meeting place. In that spirit he laid out a gorgeous park around the farm and extended the farmhouse into an opulent home. The farmhouse was bought by the city in the 1960s and turned into a space for art exhibitions opening on Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Number 5. Biologiska Musit. Liljevalch funded the city's biological museum, and it moved into its delightful Art Nouveau building in 1911. The collections were assembled much earlier, making this the oldest museum in Södertälje. The museum has taxidermies of more than 100 animals and bird species from the Södermanland. And while they may not be to everyone's taste, the Art Nouveau design adds a lot of charm. Number 7. Salem's Kirka. Go east to the southern shore of Bornstein Lake, where you'll come to a medieval church embedded in lindens, oaks and birches. This solemn Romanesque edifice is from the 1100s, and the tower's architecture suggests it may have been used for a defensive purpose at some point. Inside, some of the church's fittings have been moved to Stockholm's Swedish History Museum for safekeeping, but there are still exciting things to be found. Number 6. Telj Hus. If you need an idea for a stroll you can venture out to the enigmatic ruins of a medieval castle beside the Södertälje Canal. Now, you might need to use your imagination to picture these bricks and stones as a fortress, but this site has proved very rich for archaeologists. That's because back in the mists of time battles took place right here. Among the artifacts recovered was the wreckage of a 14th century boat, arrowheads, horseshoes, and various pieces of armor. Number 8. Sankt de Ragenhild's Kirka. At Stortergit in the heart of Södertälje is a church begun around the same time, but has had a more eventful history. The oldest remaining portions are the 14th-century groin vaults in the nave. After fires in the year 1650, the church got its Baroque façade, and needed to be restored again following another fire in 1881. Luckily that time most of the damage was superficial, leaving the sublime decoration inside unharmed. Number 9. Stortergit. Not everything is as it seems on the square in front of the church. Unlike most medieval town squares in the world this large plaza wasn't intended has a place for Södertälje citizens to do business. Rather, because of the city's location, it was a chosen as somewhere for traders from the Baltic coast and around Lake Mellorin to meet and trade. Other than Sankt de Ragenhild's Kirka, 
the main historical monument on the square is the wooden old town hall. Number 10. Storgaten. North to south, and parallel to the Södertälje Canal is the city's pedestrian street and main commercial artery. This isn't really a street for sightseeing as it was modernized after the war, but you can learn a lot about Södertälje on Storgaten. When Veru Huset Kringlin opened here on the corner of Exdalsgaten in 1965 it became one of Sweden's first malls, and is now a listed building. Hope you like this video for more videos please subscribe to our channel.